A group of survivors stranded in Moscow during an alien invasion find others and cleverly discover ways to survive and fight back. It stars Emil Hirsch as a slacker turned hero and Olivia Thurlby as a runaway looking to get home and Joel Kinnaman as the cowardly douchebag looking for redemption. No alien threat will be taken seriously without a deadly show of force. The Darkest Hour is no exception. When you rescue a group of survivors from an alien, you have to drop a one-liner. Van Slamage Clothesline. Welcome to Russia, sucker. They kind of look like a cooler version of Battle Force 2000, if that's possible. Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. First is the doggone DDT. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Second is the Skylar split leg moonsault. I guess he had to split. And finally, the Russian Triple Trouble. Three for the price of one. Check out on Isle Death. When you finally kill your first alien, you have to drop a one-liner. Here's an example. Now let's slamify it with the Van Slamish Tag In. Van Slamish Tag In. It's lights out for you. The Darkest Hour was an entertaining and clever take on an alien invasion. All the crazy situations and how the survivors discovered ways to avoid and detect the aliens and eventually find their weaknesses was certainly a high point. I bet they sense our bioelectromagnetic ship. That almost makes sense. How'd you come up with that? I don't know, Shark Week. I kind of wish they had a cool name to refer to the aliens as. Like whatever is Russian for ghost lights or Flickers. On the Van Slamage meter, I give it four and a half out of five masks. The Darkest Hour shines bright. Thanks for joining me for Jack Van Slam versus The Darkest Hour. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. Feel free to comment on what your favorite moments were and what you'd like to see slammeranged. How can you be like that? Like, uh, delusionally optimistic all the time. I'm just more used to screwing up than you are.